Hey CMC Squad and welcome back. Today we'll be taking a look at all my Schleich models. From white horses to gray and black and brown to cows and donkeys and all my riders. Let's start by taking a look at all the horses, starting with the whites. First up, we have Sugar. Now, Sugar here is a beautiful gray, well, white looking, but technically gray, Lippy Zonermare, who actually came as a vaulting horse. She has a slightly darker gray mane with a beautiful braid going through it and such a nice long, wavy gray tail. She does have a few marks on her, but I have had her for quite many years now, so it's expected that she's not in perfect condition. Now, beside Madame Sugar, we have Snow White. Snow White is another gorgeous gray looking mare. With pink braided into her mane, a fancy, slightly raised tail, dark gray fades and accents, and beautiful slim build. She was actually one of the horses that came with my main Schleich barn, and she even has a foal, which we'll meet a little later on. Now behind Snow White, we have Tulip. She's another white looking mare, and she actually came with our Schleich log cabin. With beautiful pink flowers braided into her mane and her beautiful long tail. She is definitely a beautiful horse, and I'm not exactly sure if she came as a breed, but is probably either a lippy honor, but she's kind of giving me Andalusian vibes. Now here we have Lucy. Now I'm not saying Lucy is my favorite horse model, but she's definitely up there because something about her, I absolutely love her stance and she's just beautiful. She has the sweetest face, little accents of gray fade, with her mane and tail being quite long and super silky. Imagine having your real horse's tail this brushed out all the time. She's beautiful and we'll meet her full soon. Finally, from the whitish horses, we have Flower. Now Flower is actually actually not a Schleich model, but I had to add her in here since she looks really similar obviously, but she's from a different brand. Flower here is actually a fairy pony it says on her, and she's just filled with all these beautiful flower colors, flower built-in saddle pad, flowers in her mane and her tail, and even a flower halter. It looks like a cute little drafter pony with feathers on her feet, really thick mane and long tail, and this sort of cremello kind of done color. Now from the whitish grays, we'll get into our farm animals later, but we have buckskins, chestnuts, and bays. Basically from light brown to dark brown horses. First up, Mr. Pumpkin. He's got a beautiful sort of chestnutty orange coloring going on, and he is quite one of the bigger, kind of longer, thick models, with a short forelock and a shorter white mane fading into his tail from the orange to the white. His left hind leg with a little white sock and the right hind leg creeping up the back of his cannon. He is definitely one of my favorites and he just looks like he's ready to run his round of barrels. And right in front of him, we have Clover, who is actually Lucy's foal. He is adorable, and he is definitely reminding me of Spirit. He's got a rich, chestnutty, spirit kind of looking coat, almost like a buckskin, into his short little dark brown mane, along with his short little tail, into black in his legs, all the way down to white socks. He's got a mixture of colors, and he's beautiful. Still staying with the small ones, we have a Shetland Pony. This here is Daisy the Shetty. Daisy is definitely a lighter one of the horses, but it looks like she's kind of starting to go into a bay. But she stays a consistent white brown that even goes into white on her legs. And she has, of course, the thickest mane and longest tail. Cutest face, and it even looks like she's getting a little beard. Looks like she also might have just been clipped because she has a little heart on the left side of her hind. I'm not exactly sure how she got this little mark on her leg, but like I said, I've had her for a while. Now we have Cayenne, another one of my favorite coats. And she basically looks like a big horse version of Daisy. She's basically your standard bay horse, but I love the fading onto her legs. Her mane just seems so kind of messy but natural, and she's just beautiful. She is also a western horse because she obviously came with western tack and a western rider. But for some reason, even though it sounds weird, her legs totally remind me of a racehorse. Now getting into the smalls but the darkers, we have Coco, who's actually Beauty's foal. Now Coco actually came in a vet set, so with a vet truck, and she definitely looks like one of those expensive show foals. 
She's got a beautiful deep brown coloring. Her mane is already in buns, little short tail, and her beautiful thin legs fading into white. Now you guys obviously remember Beauty, her mom, which we will be seeing soon. And she's a drafter, so Coco kind of looks like Andalusian show horse, but Beauty is her mother. Another thick, stocky, small pony, we have Wind, who's this deepest brown color with her mane and tail braided in a heart on her tail and with these little green elastics on her mane. Now with our second last brown horse, we have another foal. This is Caramel and this is Snow White's foal. Another beautiful, slim, dark brown horse who is getting her mane in small little raised tail basically and she has three white socks. Even though the coloring's different and obviously the model's different, I think you can tell this is Snow White's bowl. Our last brown horse, we have Amy. I love her long mane, which is half brown, half white, and of course, just the brown tail. She's absolutely beautiful, and she actually came with the cafe slice set, plus a little snip on the end of her nose. And now into our splotchy gray, white, and black horses. Here we have Cobalt, and Cobalt actually came with our wash doll slice set. Cobalt is not my favorite, but for some reason, I have just been in love with his coloring, honestly. I mean, just where do I start? Starting with this base color of this kind of little off-white, but just white, into his dark, dark mane, dark, dark tail, dark around his tail, dark around his booty, all the way down to his legs that fade back into that white. Even on his face, he has darker accents, all the way to his muzzle. I'm not sure if he goes into complete black in those areas, or if it's just like a really dark, smoggy, brownish gray, but it is beautiful. Now we have Diamond Tiara. Now, Diamond Tiara is definitely one of my top favorites. Now she is just your regular slight horse, but instead of her whole body being this hard model material, her legs kind of go into a more bendy, kind of fragile, rubbery part, and they even make like a rubbery sound. So not sure what that's about, but it's fine with me. Maybe it actually makes her more durable because the rubber won't break. I'm not sure if they were trying to make her go for a dappled look because she has these little spots over her kind of base of a grayish, whitish coat. But she does have these kind of little white kind of smoggy dapples everywhere, which kind of gave me like Nubstrucker, correct me if I'm saying that wrong, but it kind of gave me those kind of vibes. But I think she's just your standard dappled gray. She is definitely a show horse with her mane in these buns. She's got her beautiful red and gold ear bonnet or fly veil on, as well as her boots with the gold like symbol. Her beautiful style mane going into a tip of white. And I mean, she has to have some coat shiner on. She's beautiful and she's actually probably my most recent Schleich model, so maybe like a year or two ago, but definitely one of my favorites. Now, I know, but another one of my favorites, we have Storm. Now, years, years ago when I got Storm, I was expecting her to be this kind of darker, more sturdier, thicker horse. So when I got her, I was like, oh, I mean, yeah, she's not my favorite. I don't really like her, honestly. But now that I've actually gotten to use her more, she became one of my favorite models. She is this beautiful gray, which is just basically one solid kind of light gray, a bit of white fade into some of her back feet with this gorgeous darker gray tail. So beautiful tail, kind of medium length, nice and flowy, put together. And she has pink braided into her mane. She has a white stripe as her face marking and even a little pink muzzle. But she actually is super thin that I believe only one or two of the like saddles fit her and even then they're still loose. She is definitely similar to Snow White, but I think she might be even a little slimmer because she has less of kind of a figure. Definitely a daintier mare. She definitely reminds me of a racehorse, honestly, like those shorter kind of really slim racehorses that basically always win the races. But she's gorgeous, definitely one of my favorites, and she's even got fresh, shiny shoes on. Into the last few models, we have Ruby. She was actually one of my first horse models, so I believe either my first or second, and she's not a schleich, but beautiful. She obviously has a white base, and she is in Appaloosa, I believe. A definitely shorter, growing out black mane, and a kind of thickier, bushier tail. Her legs go into three black socks, and then kind of just here on her hock, she has black 
back as well. Here we have my ultimately biggest horse model. Once again, not Schleich, but very similar. This is Lorelei. Lorelei is a huge drafter mare, like literally huge, like as in almost the size of my whole hand. She has the thickest black tail, the thickest, longest white mane, and a forelock so big she almost can't see with her little white stripe peeping out. And she's definitely a pinto mixing because she's got the black patches, the white patches, and obviously huge feathers around her ginormous hooves. Yeah. Then we have Scout, who is also her full, which is once again, notch like. He's basically her in a mini male version. He's got the patches, but he has a little gray muzzle. And I'm not sure if his feathers are supposed to go into this yellow as just his coloring or if it's dirty but you know i guess that makes it realistic because it's impossible to keep a white horse clean next we have star and star is definitely my favorite he's not like and underneath him it actually says james on dancing bells so apparently his name is dancing bells but i've been calling him star because he has a star on his forehead this whole time and you will see why his built-in saddle has no stirrups because that is on james apparently his rider. He is a pure black stallion. He's got the straight cut, the straight cut long tail, two white socks. His mane is in buns, the dressage saddle, the white saddle pad, even the special dressage girth, the double reins, the English bridle, probably some kind of a pelham bit on, and his little white star. All this pack is built in so few riders can actually ride him unless they're perfectly fit for him, like James. He is such a beautiful, thick performance horse, and he's absolutely beautiful with obviously his shiny shoes on. He is ready for the show ring. This model is so realistic and it's so relaxed at the same time. He's got his PF on and he's ready for the ring. Now we have our third last horse model, but our last non schleich model. This is Junipero, or Juno for short, yes, named after Spirit Riding Free. He is a pure black shire he's got the white glaze going into his little pink nostrils he's got the white thick feathers obviously got those shire feet with pretty big hooves his short black stubby tail and his gorgeous long mane he definitely looks like a stallion ready for the show ring Second last horse like model, we have Shadow, and Shadow actually came with Daisy, our Shetland Pony, and Sugar, our Lippies Honor. He is a show jumper, and Marie rides him, one of my favorite riders, which we are getting to in under a minute. He's another pure black stallion. He's got the brownish hooves. He's got two little, very small white socks in the front, his kind of really thin black tail, and his flowy mane. He looks like he's about to go into a gallop to the last fence. And he's got his little white stripe on his face. He used to be one of my favorite models, but once I got more and more and more, it's so hard to decide your favorite. Next thing you know, you're like me with tens of thousands of favorites. Finally, if you've been watching my channel since I started, you know what horse you're waiting for. We have the one and only Beauty. Beauty used to be the star of my channel, and she's actually a beautiful black Frisian who I believe came with our horse trailer, which is one of my most used like items really beautiful pitch black horse kind of almost picking up brown but she is black she's obviously got her feathers uh, it looks like she's barefoot so she's not shooed she has a gorgeous black flowy mane which you can barely see because she's so matte with a beautiful red ribbon going through and braided into her tail hey everyone i know it's been so long since i've been in the videos right well i'll definitely try to pop into the videos more often i've just been so busy between work this that planning for the youtube because I'm obviously still doing stuff behind the scenes, but I'll definitely pop in more often. Well, that is great to hear, Beauty. Now, I think it's time to finish the farm animals with a cow, a baby cow, a donkey, two dogs, a cat, and a piglet. Then we can get into our people and riders. We have our mama cow, Meredith, and our baby cow, Mary. Now we have our donkey, and we have our piglet. This is obviously Senor Carrots, once again, based off of Spirit Riding Free, and he also came with our like barn. And our little piglet, Oinkers. Yes, I know, we weren't too creative with the names. Um, I really don't remember what their original names were, but we're gonna call him Oinkers for now. Now getting to the last of our animals, we have Barley, the beagle, who came with the like barn. And we actually have Goldie, the golden retriever, which I'm not sure where she came from. Finally, our cat mittens, the beautiful, white cat, little brown accent, I mean black accent pieces, and a full-on black 
tail. Now it's time for a final quick run through of all the people. We have Patrick who is actually apparently named James but I called him Patrick and he obviously goes with Star. If you're wondering why Josh over here is in a weird position, that's because he is our trailer driver. We have Isabella the Volter which comes with sugar. Teresa who comes with Snow White. Then we have Mia who comes with Ruby who's the only one that can ride her since she's a wild horse basically like spirit riding free of course. Fern who rides Gina Perrow, also bareback, and Daniela, who rides Amy. Emily on the Shetland Pony, and of course Marie, one of my favorite riders on Mr. Shadow. Another pair of sisters, in the blue we have Lisa, and in the red we have Amelia. Amelia rides Cayenne, and Lisa does barrels of pumpkin. Lisa also turned out to be owning Storm. Michelle on Tulip, and Eric doesn't ride anyone, obviously he physically can't as a model, um, but he just owns the cafe. Patrick owns the farm and Olivia does work around the barn, loves Sugar the horse, and helps her dad. We obviously have two twins here, but the one that has the elastic around her wrist is Sarah, who owns Cobalt and Beauty and her foal, and she helps around the barn. And this one right here is Melissa, and Melissa is the mother of Olivia and obviously the wife of Patrick. We have our trainer and Grandpa Nick, our trainer Dixie, here helps with everybody around the yard and Grandpa Nick helps with the gardening. Second last we have Sabrina our veterinarian who loves helping out Coco when she gets in a ruffle and Allie who is Olivia's sister which is also Patrick and Melissa's daughter who loves the ponies always hangs out with wind and also knocked over the rest of the people while I was trying to get her. Well there you have it everyone that is my whole Schleich model collection I'm sure I have a few somewhere else buried but I definitely love playing with these and I know you you guys love them for videos. I have been collecting these for years now and I'm so grateful for them but eventually in the future if I end up not using them I'll definitely donate them to people less fortunate. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Let me know what vlogmas videos you guys want and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye CMC squad. See you soon.